Good day. Welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers on Friday the 4th of November 2011. Come, let's pray together. Father, as we commence, may our hearts and minds be right before you. May your everlasting mercy, grace and love be shown in hearing these petitions. Praise to God the Father sing, praise to God the Son our King, praise to God the Spirit be, now and through eternity. Amen. Now let's have a short time where you can offer your own praise and thanks to God for things that are on your own mind and heart. If for some reason words are failing you, simply pray, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving, and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. We come now to a time of praying for those who are looking for work. Lord, we are wondrously made, and you have given us each many talents. Draw us out into ever truer images of ourselves. We pray for the unemployed and the unemployable and all seeking new jobs for those looking to fill or create new positions within their businesses, for those who have no home of their own. And as autumn turns to winter, we pray for those who sleep rough, either through choice or because the world has abandoned them. By name, we pray for Lucy and those who love and support them. Thanks, Eugene. That was great. Let's now pray for those who are ill. Father, we lift before you these people, Kath, Joy, David, Christina, Betty, Margaret, Claire, Kathy, Chrissy, Hannah, Bruce, Joy, Ruth, Patty, Sarah, and finally, Yun and her father. Give comfort to them and all those who are ill. Give wisdom to medical staff treating them, and give a healing touch. Amen. Father, we now ask for strength for all those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones and friends. Enfold them in your arms of compassion, wipe their tears of mourning, and may the Holy Spirit counsel, comfort, and console. We particularly lift to you the family of Jackie who died recently. Father, we pray that those in despair will be helped, and where there is darkness, there will be light. O oh Lord God, give strength to the weak. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, 
Help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. Finally, we close with this prayer of great praise. O oh, Father, may it be that your love takes over our lives, that we would follow you faithfully as your church. May we give to you alone praise in all circumstances we face together. We ask all these things, O oh, Father, through the majestic name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who lives inside us. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.